Great and Fanatic here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. And I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe to my channel. Well, I want to say happy March the 1st. I absolutely love this month because we're going to be getting some warm weather. My birthday's in March, my mom's birthday. And guess what? Daylight saving time is going to be on my birthday. So we're going to get a couple extra hours of some daylight and spring is coming. So what better way to incorporate some new decor into the kitchen for spring and Easter? I absolutely love it. And it's so easy to incorporate all the pastel colors, neutrals for spring and Easter. So let's decorate my kitchen for Easter and spring. Well, as you can see, I have a few items here that I'm gonna use in my kitchen to decorate with, but I'm gonna share with you where I found the item and the prices. Now, I absolutely love this chalkboard sign here. It's the perfect color that matches my cabinets, and I love drawing the little art on here for the holidays. Now, this came from Ross for $8.99, and I drew the little bunny on there. It says, Happy Easter, and I'm gonna use this somewhere probably in the corner. And then I picked up a Ray Dunn mug with the topper. Now, I believe that this mug topper goes on a different mug that's on my coffee bar. I think it's the one that says hop to it. Now, I had this, it says, hello spring. So I pulled this out and I'm gonna use a little bunny top on there. Now, if you were to purchase the mug with the bunny top on top there, it's $9.99, but the mugs alone are $5.99 and this one is yellow inside. So I decided I put the little bunny top on there and use it in one of my displays. And then another Ray Dunn item after my last Ray Dunn haul, I said I wasn't going to buy any more Easter, nothing for Easter Ray Dunn related. And of course, I've never seen this before. I was in Home Goods, the tank was pushed out by the front, and the lady put this on the shelf. And I was like, oh, that is too cute. I have to buy it. So, anyways, I've got the little watering can that's in pink with a little bunny head on there for $19.99. And I got this over at Home Goods and I thought I will use this in one of my displays. And then I have this little cake stand here. It's always nice to have something like this. You can put some items on this or one big item on this and elevate it for height when you're making your displays. Now, I think this came from Home Goods. I had this for a little while. I don't have the price on it. I picked up this item here from Hobby Lobby. This was on clearance last year for $4.49. This is perfect for any kitchen to put your utensils in or add any flowers to it. And then over at Kirkland's, I found these last year. I absolutely love these tulips. They are so pretty in yellow. They are so realistic. I don't have a price on these, but I think they still sell these. I absolutely love these tulips for spring. And then I'll be incorporating my napkin, my buffalo check napkin, because I do have a buffalo check rug and also curtains in my kitchen. So I always like to put this under my displays. And I think these uh, buffalo check napkins came from Hobby Lobby. And then I have this adorable little bunny uh, butter dish. It is so cute. I found this over at Home Goods last year when it was on sale at 75% off. So this cost me, um, it was $7 regular price. This cost me $1.75 with the little bunny on top. It is so adorable. And then I've had these plates for a little while, but I absolutely love the little bunnies on here. And I love the colors. This green matches my cabinet so well. And these came from Pier 1 for, I think they say $8.95. And I picked up two of them because I do have a little uh, plate rack on the side of my cabinets. But I absolutely love these little bunnies. Now, Pier 1 did go out of business. Uh, they don't have a storefront. But I think you can still um, find some items online through Pier 1 online. And then Hobby Lobby sells the little carrots and buffalo check, and they also have orange, and I think they have some other colors. Now, I got these last year. They have their Easter right now, 40% off. I think the regular price on these are $5.99. You get three of them, and I think with 40% off, it makes them $3.59. So I have the little buffalo check carrots. And then also from Hobby Lobby last year, when I got those amazing sales, I picked up these little bunnies. I think these are so cute pink, green, I have blue. These were priced, uh, I think, I want to say either $6.99, $6.99, I think. I got them for like $1.40, so I couldn't beat that. They are so cute, so I'll be using these. And then I did find the little canister that says jelly beans. I absolutely love it because it's real small, and this is priced $7.99. I did find this at TJ Maxx, and I added a little bow to it. And then I have a stand. You can always find these over at Hobby Lobby. And also they do come in pastel colors, which makes it nice for spring and Easter. And I don't have a price on that, but they're only like a couple dollars. 
And then I picked up some new, new dish towels. They say Bunny Love, this is Ray Dunn. They come in a two pack for $6.99. Well, I picked up this candle from Bath & Body Works. I absolutely love their candles. They're super strong. And this one is their Sugared Lemon Zest. Lemon is perfect scent for your kitchen. Now they are priced regular price $24.99, but you never want to pay full price for them because they generally run them on sale. Just wait for the sale. And then a lot of times you'll get coupons in the mail with a percentage off. So I absolutely love the lemon for the kitchen. And then my last item was purchased over at Hobby Lobby last year. Now this regular price was $23.99. I thought, oh no way, this is a lot of money for this. It weighs nothing, it's really thin, but it's really cute, the little window pane. It's made of wood and then it has the little wreath on here, the little box wood and the little bunny. But I did get this at 80% off, so it cost me around $4.60. So that was a good price. And then what I did was I added a little brown color, a little brown paint to the bunny to give it some color because it was just a real light oak color. And then how easy is it to take a little piece of chalk and add some color to the little tail on the bunny? So let's go ahead and decorate my kitchen. I absolutely love the way this turned out. I had so much fun creating these little displays in my kitchen. So I hope you guys got some ideas and inspiration. And until next time, happy decorating.